Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. And of course, you know, you see who we're going to be talking about. Yes, that's uh, one of Flash, one of, I don't know what he want to do to tell you the truth. He just looking like trash sometimes, okay? He look kind of disheveled here. He look like he has lost some weight. I can give him that. I'm told him about them damn buckled shoes, okay? So maybe he just don't quite understand what I mean by Stacy Adams or some Scooby-Doo's, okay? If you want to flaunt like Jay-Z and Beyonce, Portia and Simon, you're going to have to rise up to the occasion. You're going to have to rise up like the cream in the coffee, okay? I'm going to show you, you and Portia, some Stacey Adams, okay? Some Scooby-Doo's. You see how long? That's a classic. 1875. They've been making shoes, all right? But welcome, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hopefully, you all are having a fantabulous weekend long weekend at that um we saw simon trying to sport out his little outfits the african outfits but see that's what we look like these are what stacy adams look like you know you don't have a buckle but you have a little you know a little something something you know what i'm saying that s says nothing but swag okay this is your swag feel simon and portia and of course simon you know your feet stink it gets the sweat and all that in the summertime so see i even got you some summer kicks that you can get with okay brother get with it all right i ain't gonna tell you too many more times okay now i'm giving you examples okay that's a loafer you like wearing loafers you see what i'm saying you got a little emblem on there but it's not a full-fledged buckle and then you got that that you can wear with some jeans. I mean, don't you want to wear some jeans sometime? Of course, it's getting kind of hot. But these type of shoes, these are called loafers by Stacey Adams, okay? You can pull up and be right on time when it comes to your wardrobe. Now, when you're wearing those suits and stuff, these are the kind of shoes you want to get into. These are the kind of shoes you want to use. Now, see what that suit you had on going to that wedding that Porsche had y'all going to? Should have had something like that or something like that. You know, you got to always match your ties and your shoes and your shirts together, brother. And that's what we're talking about, okay? I'm showing you, I'm giving you images. So, the next time we see you in a suit, we want to see you rocking them Stacey Adams, okay? Or Scooby-Doo's. Whatever you can use, all right? We don't want to see you come out with no buckle shoes anymore, Simon. Not with no suit, okay? We don't want to see it. It was a disgrace, and hopefully you have given them away to goodwill, okay? Or some other deserving old-timers, you know, you father time but the ones that i'm talking about they probably about eight or nine years old all right you give them something to buckle up with but when you're in your age what you're trying to say you look good we need you to look good when you step out you a millionaire billionaire you need to be wearing shoes like these son okay you could even wear that with your suit you had on but i don't know where you were going with it and i know Portia is kind of challenged in the uh, category of wardrobe wearing. But you could have, she could have called on Marlo Hampton for you, okay? She could have called me, well, not called me, but send me a note in the chat. Say, I need your help. Where can I go get so and so and so and so? See, Portia, you need to get him this time of breathable wearing shoes for the summertime because it gets hot in Georgia. It gets mighty, mighty hot. And we don't want to see. Father time running around in no suede, okay? Suede, ink, 
equals stinkiness in the summertime, okay? And we saw Father Time's feet. It needs some air conditioning, all right? So while we still slapping over there in that suede buckle type of ensemble of shoes, we need you to go to the clothing store and get you some more African wares as well. Because we're kind of tired of seeing that light blue one. We damn sure don't saw the other colors. But we need you to do better. You may not know better, but that's why we're giving you visuals tonight, Simon. We need you to pull up. Pull out all the stops when you go into, you getting into them uh, suits, them uh, CEO suits type of mentality. We need you to be up and a par. We need you to hold the bar when it comes to stepping out in suits. Now, I ain't going to lie. I did remember a time after I had did a video on you of telling you don't be wearing them buckle shoes and this, that, and the third. Or you couldn't wear pinstripe. There was a time when you were at, uh, well, where, little Larry. I bet he got some uh, Stacey Adams in his closet he could show you. But nine times ten, I, we ain't seen them. We ain't seen them. And if anybody can give me an updated picture or tell me where to go to get an updated picture on Larry, I really would like to do that. Because I like my old pal Larry. I didn't know I was going to be missing him like this. And, of course, your main buddy, David, Davido, Davito, okay? I'm pretty sure he got some Stacey Adams in his closet. Because I saw a brother in a suit with some, uh, what do you call suspenders. And they were looking mighty fine on him. Yes, he was mighty fine. He was sharp as a dime. Or how do you say, sharp as a tack, okay? But you need work, Simon. And we're here because we want to see you do well. And I think your mother tried to teach you how to dress. But maybe she failed. Maybe she failed miserably. But we definitely can show and prove. We can tell you where to go. We can give you examples. And however you mix and match your outfits, you should be looking sharp from head to the top of your head to the soles of your feet, Simon. To the soles of your feet. I see those shoes would have looked real nice with what you had on going to that wedding. But you, you, I know you didn't have no insight. You didn't have nobody working with you. Because Portia, she tries her best to... Thank the Lord. She's been looking much better. Not like a hoe. But as a mother. She's been looking. Well, I'll I just say. i just take one clip at a time. Because she may go back into her mentality of dressing like a slut. But the last one I saw her in. I think was. Let me see. She had went to the Soul Circus. And that was a pretty good summer outfit she had on. So I won't. You know. I think it was all white. It was kind of short, and but it was covering up everything, you know. Uh, she can't do much to covering up the breasts because, you know, that's just how they are. But uh, she wasn't really showing no cleavage. but she was being respectful. So, yeah, but uh, we know how Portia can get. She likes to show her skin. And... Um, like she's showing now, but that, that's not a bad thing. You know, she was out and about with the kitties. Really liked it that she cut poor PJ head off. Uh, but, you know, like she said in her caption, sometimes she got to cut the family off or whatever. Don't really know what cryptic message she was sending, but I guess whoever had took the picture of her and PJ, they didn't like, you know, really. I, they probably got tired of taking pictures of what it was. They got tired of being uh, Portia's. Uh, solo photographer out there when you know cause she loves to take pictures and she loves to put them on her Instagram some are questionable but you know some are, are, are uh, what do you call it Pla you know it's not that it was to taste it was for the taste it was to, to, to the taste where you couldn't put any salt on her name or anything like that it was approachable it was a doable type of wardrobe she had on so but i'm probably wondering who is taking these pictures who 
who is taking these pictures and are they getting paid that's what i want to know because i'm thinking you know her and simon be together all the time but i I couldn't really see him going out with lauren and um uh, Portia and the and the babies you know what i'm saying because he ha he likes to be seen he likes to be showcased so this other outing outing they went to like a little playland for the kids or whatnot indoors uh, Simon wasn't there or it was alluded to that he wasn't there so I kind of liked it that the sisters were bonding with you know her niece and you know the nieces and stuff and they were having a good old time so it was a good old thing it was a good thing but I just thought we should bring to fruition for Simon, because he might not know, know no better, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to get him the benefit of the doubt, you know, once we see him again in a suit. We're going to, hopefully, he's going to be sporting one of Stacey Adams type of shoe products, okay? Because these are some damn good looking shoes. And for what I understand, because my ex-husband used to wear Stacey Adams, and he said they were very comfortable. So, uh, we need you to get with it, uh, Simon Gabadia. And, you know, some, uh, Stacey Adams, they used to be kind of expensive. But, you know, depending on where you go and get them, you can get them at a discount. Okay? Because we know Simon is an accountant. And he loves a bargain. That's just how he is. So, I feel he shouldn't have a hard time with getting him a rack of shoes. That can go with the basics like the blue the black the gray i haven't seen anybody well you, i guess you could wear tan here and there but i, I forgot to say we d i did find i think it was a pinstripe suit that he wore at pj's tea party and he had some sneakers on and that was a solid that was a solid dude thing he should have wore that outfit to the wedding you understand because he might got feet problems he might got bunions or something so he need to be in uh flexible tight shoes and comfortable shoes yes yeah, so uh he did look good in that outfit i do remember so i had to come back and say yeah well simon did good you know he, he can look good in a pinstripe suit this particular suit though because it was like light grayish and he had the uh, pink uh shirt going with it and you know some little tennis shoes white tennis shoes little kicks and stuff look like case swiss but i'm not i'm not really sure but he did in that instance so i had to come back and correct myself you know i'm good at doing that you know if i did file on something i come back and i say okay yeah yeah that was right you know he does look good in that particular color of a pinstripe and if anybody don't know, go look at my Easter video I did when he had his uh, two sons and PJ out there competing, trying to get uh, Easter eggs and the golden egg they were looking for because they were breaking off $100 bills, $100, $100 bills, y'all. Yes, they were. Um, uh, I guess my invitation got lost in the bill or something. But that's all this video was about, guys, is trying to show and prove and to make Simon aware of his attire when he comes out and he wants to play the facade of being a billionaire Millionaire however it goes, you know, we need him to be looking just You know, we need him to be looking just right playing the part that he needs to play To make us think that he's a billionaire. Okay, because that ain't really what we think. It's how he carries himself and how he does things in the community and on his social media platforms. I'm still looking for Larry. If Larry can come. Maybe DeVito knows where uh, Simon, I mean, um, what's his name? Larry is, which is Diane's boyfriend. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. So, Simon, we don't need you to dress like a younger dude such as your compadre. Mr. Davito. We don't need you to dress like him. He's younger. He got a lot more years ahead of him, God with him. And you see you don't, Simon. You you you're over in the uh old stage, old pastor out. Uh you out here. Uh the latter time is coming up on you. One foot on the grave, one foot in the grave, one on a banana peel. We don't know which way it can go at this time. So we need you to be looking nice and, and well dressed every time you step out to go to weddings uh meetings 
which we we should that should have been the first one when you go to your staff meetings when you go to uh what you call it director of operations type of dealings when you're dealing with subordinates and all that kind of jazz you know we're still trying to find the office park um your employees your truck drivers we're still trying to look for those people those people still haven't come or been pictured or taped or filmed of some idea that you have a corporation uh llc under your belt we don't even know if that's your true mother you know just things we want to understand and we want to you know like them pictures in the back is it one on the other side poor uh simon is kind because of, it's uneven it's looking uneven I'm, I'm mad that you didn't give me the other side to see what's going on i like the pictures i like the decor very refreshing um but do you have the pictures set out evenly across the wall is what i'm trying to say so you know tell your people who are taking photos of you when they want to use a background let's get all that's in the bag we want to see one good nice picture of you they didn't do so hot on taking that picture maybe portia was behind the camera i, I don't know the other phone uh trying to take a, a, a quick snapshot of you because she wants to put you on your instagram account because we know you don't be loading up your own pictures we know it just because she was making a reel for you one day and she was saying how happy you was about how the reel came out okay so that made me think you didn't know what the hell you were doing and she had to do it and she probably loads all of your photos on your site or maybe her sister or her assistant lauren but i just thought i was just in the wee hours of the night i'm taking taping and i'm going to bed shortly after this okay because i'm yawning but i just you know I, I saw you dressed up and i'm like why do i keep seeing simon in the same outfits okay i understand that financial people look to save money save money save money but sometimes you got to spend money you know you got to look like a million dollars here and there we don't want to keep seeing you in the same outfits you know that's not what billionaires do okay not billionaires that want to act like there's somebody out here all the time when they're being shown now billionaires you probably wouldn't even know that they are billionaires because they dress you know very low-key um they probably have maybe five outfits that looks like uh when they go to board meetings and this that and the third they probably have you know or they might just have the basic dark gray black blue you know nothing flashy because you don't need to look flashy you're just there as the head of everything and you want to make sure everybody's doing their job but you also want to look presentable as well so we gave you a few options you can try out simon uh because you know we're gonna, we're gonna come in for correction when we don't see you looking like you're supposed to be a billionaire or millionaire we're gonna come in with more photos until you get it right because we want you to do something right in this scenario because i've been hearing on those streets that portia would do better with her rebranding if you were not in it and you know i hate to see you know a couple break up if you all are truly a couple and the masses are wanting her to leave you the hell alone so if you um you know take heed at some things i try to tell you over here maybe just maybe you could pull it off okay because right now unless you're still slated to get married in september i just don't see why we need to deal with you anymore in a sense you know what i'm saying on the show or any other shows or you know because uh, i mean you're not giving us anything that we can qualify you for as being a billionaire okay because we and my family members over here at the, at the, um, the house um we see you renting everything okay we can't say you own anything so uh we know the plane is rented we know the boats or that boat yacht or whatever you call yourself in on the sea we know that's rented um so you have rented cars sometimes or you store cars so we really don't know it's still a big question mark on what you do 
and the validation that you're trying to get through on social media has not come through either um yes a lot of technicalities that are not being checked off the box as you being a so-called newly yeah i don't know if it's new money or old money because like i said we really don't know what you do and at this time as we keep going along we're going to be like we don't really care what you do after this point and we need portia to you know rebrand herself and if that means her rebranding to win in this entertainment world and it means cutting you loose then 99.9 .9 of the people will be in favor of her cutting you loose and her growing on going on to new and higher better heights and more than likely getting them um getting with a man such as fallon did more appropriate for her age so only time would tell you know, because like I said, we've been waiting on you, but I gave you to September to do right. My Portia, make her an honest woman. Stop having her shack up with you. But, you know, if you really, really, in my book, cared about her, you would already be married to her. You know, and it'd be filed in the courthouse in Atlanta somewhere. But we can't even get Diane or Portia to tell us where Larry at. I mean, do they have him? Are they holding him hostage somewhere? Did you banish him to another island of sorts? What what happened? He was around before you came around, Simon. So are you and your friends, you know, holding him up somewhere? We would like to know. So we can tell you, stop doing that mess. Bring the man back. We miss him. Even though we don't see him quarterly. Or maybe at the end of the year, around Christmas time, festive time of the year. But, you know, it is what it is. We'll find out sooner or later, right? Everything that's done in the dark will come back to light, right? Okay? But that's all I have for this video, guys. I will see y'all on the next one. Bye-bye.